So this is the LK EMPV 4N and these are your MC4 connectors. Let's have a look in the box and see what we've got inside. So we have a box of 50 units and it comes with the EPV OS-S and that's the spanner tool set. So this is to use tightening up the back of the glands and such and removing the connectors. Nice that that's included. And then we've got the 50 sets of each end. So this is the male and female with a set of pins and plugs. However, we're gonna term these for which way around they go. The basic principle I work by is that the male pin goes inside the female style connector, but we'll make one of these off and show that in action. But 50 parts for each piece. So you can't go wrong with these at all. So in terms of making these off, we use this kit from LK. This has got everything in that you need. We've got a set of snips, some wire strippers, and the crimp tool. We've also got a range of accessories to use for different MC4 connectors, as you'll see over in this corner, and some removal tools, and even some spare MC4s themselves. But we're just gonna use the basic bits to make off a couple of MC4 connectors and show them being crimped together. So in the box of these Elmex LK connectors, it actually comes with an instruction sheet for making off your MC4. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to run through it here, but if you want in a little visual guide, it comes in a box of 50, so you can have a glance through and see how these things should be put together. It does say that the connectors are suitable for TUV certified PV solar cable, 2.5, 4 and 6 mil size so these crimps will go on the ends of those various size conductors which is good to know so the first thing i like to do is ensure we've got a nice clean cut on the fresh end that it is square as well so it's not twisted to one side these are fine stranded cables and they are double insulated it's maybe not easy to see but there is an outer red insulation and an inner insulation on this cable as well the stripping tool that comes in the kit will do 2.5, 4 and 6 mil. So in this case, we've got a 4 mil solar PV cable. So we need to go through that middle hole and we're looking to strip off between 8 and 10 mil of that insulation. So you can see we've got our two different crimps laid out. This larger, what I would call female, is going into what I would call a male plug. And the smaller male style pin is going to go into this female plug. So we need to prepare the end of our cable now, ready to put the crimp on. But before we get to that stage, we also need to put the back of these glands onto the cable first. So we'll do that now. We'll go for this side to begin with. So the, the male connector with the female pin. So we need to pop the back part of this connector onto the cable. I always find it a little bit easier to do while it's all in place. So just push the cable through, undo the back, and then pull the front part of the connector off. And this goes on at the end. So with this, I'm going to grab the end of the crimp and pop it into the crimping tool. Important to make sure you're using the right size hole for the cable you are terminating as well. So in this case, we've got the 4 mil cable and that drops into the back of the crimp. And we then hold that tight together, simply squeeze until it will release. And then you've got your crimped end made off. So you can see on the close-up there, we've got the strands into the back of that crimp and they've locked over. So we know that is a nice solid crimped connection onto this cable. So now we're at this stage, we can slide the back of the gland up towards the top of the cable. And we now need to take the end of the connector or plug and push it onto the crimp. And you need to push this quite hard until you hear a click. So you'll hear there that's now clicked into position and you can see the crimp sat towards the end of the connector that now will not pull off it's locked on tight so we now need to bring the back body up and tighten it onto the gland itself and then use the tool on the back to ensure it clicks and that's our male end now made off ready for connection into the female so we now repeat the process for the other end start by squaring the end off so it's a nice clean fresh cut pop the gland onto the cable. So we need the back part of this on there ready. And again, slide it through so it's on there and then pull it right out of the way. We then need to strip the end again in the four mil hole, taking off about eight to 10 millimeters. Pop the crimp into the back of the crimping tool and hold that in place. Insert the cable in through the back of the crimp. Squeeze together. Until it releases and then check to make sure everything is in there nice and correctly as it is. We then need to push the end connector over the crimp until it clicks and it won't then remove. Tighten the back up 
And again, use the tool to make sure you've got that rock solid till it clicks. So if we look at the back of these glands, we can see the weather seal is tight on the cable and we know that that is now locked into position securely and no moisture is going to get inside these MC4 connectors. And equally down the ends that the crimps are pushed far enough through into the connector that we know when they're locked together, they're going to make a good solid connection. So the last part is to bring these two components together and lock them into position. Again, hearing the click, and that is now a rock solid, well made off MC4 connection.